Hi, I'm Victor Alpha 5, Mike Uniform Delta, and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to discuss, you got it, the Polterov. Polterov, by Polta definitions, is five parks or more in one UTC day. Very simple. Go out there, get yourself, you and your gear, in the park, activate five of them, and you have to have 10 Q cells each park to make it official. Now, Polta also has kind of enticed everyone to do a little better than five. So we got a whole list of awards that you could get. And uh, you know what? Some of the guys are actually getting up to the 30 activations in one UTC day. A very efficient way of getting out. You got to, I mean, you got to be very efficient. You got to get out there, get your gear set up, make your 10 QSOLs, and move on to the next. It's easy if the parks are close by, but some of them are a little ways away. And, you know, if you need to, you may need to drive, uh, you need to bike or fly an airplane, whatever what you want to do. But you got to get to the next park, set up, activate, and tear back down. And myself, I like to drive around. Um, I'm on a road trip or something. I'll stop at a few parks, get a few of them in the bag, move on to the next. It's a great way to do some roving and get yourself uh, stretch out your legs and then have a lot, have a lot of fun doing it. Uh, other ways of doing it too is, of course, you could be walking around, going park to park, hiking. I mean, it takes a little, a little bit more time, but it is also fun. Gets you out there, gets you to see nature, and you know, it's just, just. Portable operations is just such a blast and doing it efficiently. This is a this is a very great way to test your whole skill set now before you go out and Just start uh, activating parks. It's a great idea to plan your trip You don't want to just kind of drive and you know guess you may or may not have cell service uh, Such as this instance. I did not have cell service during about two three hours of my trip and I needed to rely on knowing what parks were what and how far apart they were. So the good way of what I've done it is I basically made a, a map and put all my park numbers on it. So that way when I'm spotting myself, uh, which I did via Sodomate, I was able to pick which park it was and roughly how much uh, distance was to the next one. If you don't have the instance of using Sodomate or some other spotting ways, you may want to get someone to hold your frequency for you. So you could say, hey, I'm at 60616, I'll be at 0611 in about 20 minutes. Can you hold the frequency for me? I'll see you then. That's a great way of doing it. So whatever way you do it, you plan your trip, you plan your POTUS, and if you want to do 5, 10, you, know, you might just be at 9 and you just need that one more great idea to say, hey, I could have maybe stopped at this one, squeezed her in, and got my next award level. So get out there. Have a great time, explore, see stuff you haven't seen before, do it efficiently, spend more time on the radio than setting up, drive to the next one, hike to it. Uh, I have I went to a park that I've never seen before, beautiful landscapes, I uh, couldn't believe it. Um, I had to just sit back and relax a little bit. It was, it was a nice rove, and um, I got up to seven or eight on that one, but well worth it, well worth it. So for now... You guys have yourself a great day and thanks for joining me today. Please like and subscribe. Victor Alpha 5, Mike Uniform, Delta, I'm saying 73s. See you hams on the bands.